So, last time we made a video about this player, it was in an unfortunate update in regards to his Montreal Canadiens career. We're talking about Canadiens defenseman Jordan Harris, and following up on our conversation from 10 days ago, wherein we had sources say that the Montreal Canadiens have put him on the trade block. Now, nothing has really changed, I would say, in regards to Jordan Harris and his profile, nor the situation with the Canadians and their blue line, but if you needed the scoop, Jordan Harris is a 23-year-old defenseman, left-handed guy, 5'11", 190, who was initially a third-round pick by the Habs in 2018. He had worked his way up in the Northeastern University Husky system in the NCAA, was never really a top-tier point producer as a defenseman, but eventually became a Canadiens defender starting out in 2022. He eventually had 17 points in 65 games played last year. This season, he's got 8 points in 37 games played. But as we had talked about in that last video, with the emergence of guys like Jaden Struble, with guys like Kovacevic and Gooley and Justin Barron making themselves options once in a while, there are a ton of defenders on this blue line. So the Canadians are going to have to pick and choose which ones are more appropriate for the team they want to build, which ones fit the timeline a little bit better, and just try to make some hard decisions. They need to make some cuts in order to proceed into the long-term future and it's apparent that Jordan Harris is unfortunately one of those guys. Not because he's a bad player, but because if you talk about impact, you talk about ceiling, you talk about role, Harris, especially with the potential emergence of a guy like Lane Hudson, for example, in the NCAA, Harris's job is not really the most secure in the world, especially on a Montreal Canadiens blue line. So, our video 10 days ago pretty much said that if there was a team going out there looking for younger defenders, a guy like Jordan Harris isn't a bad option. He's a pretty good bottom pair guy who could max out as somewhat of a top four second pairing dude. When he's on his game, he can be a pretty stable two-way option, but that's the thing when he is on his game. He hasn't really been like the best per se, especially this season, but the benefit of the doubt exists when you acknowledge that he's only 23 years old and only played one full season in the NHL before this one, so there is room to grow here. But we have ourselves our first word as to what teams are apparently involved in these trade conversations. And you don't have to go all too far, you just have to go over to the western side of Canada. Let's take a look at this article from the wincolumn.ca written by James Johnson. The report reads that the Calgary Flames are interested in Montreal Canadiens defenseman Jordan Harris. This article is from earlier today. It will be linked in the description if you want to go ahead and read it. The piece opens up by talking about how the Calgary Flames defense core is going to be a focus because they just traded away Chris Tanev. They're probably going to trade Noah Hannafin. They already traded away Nikita Zadorov. They've been getting defensemen in return in these big deals. They got Hunter Burstevich from the Vancouver Canucks in the Kuzmenko Lindholm trade, and they got Artyom Grushnikov from the Chris Tanev trade. This is a team that is interested in bolstering their young defenders, and a source tells the win column that one of the players of interest to the Flames is Canadiens defenseman Jordan Harris. The article then talks about how Harris is a 23-year-old left-handed defenseman who can play both sides, and unfortunately, because of Jaden Struble, Harris has been scratched a lot. But the article then goes out there and says this, For a Flames team that is about to lose two top four defensemen, acquiring a 23-year-old does make sense. I wouldn't be in the camp that would want to move future assets right now, but I do like Jordan Harris quite a bit. It seems like an obvious fit. Would the Flames flip the Dallas 2024 second rounder they got for Chris Tanev in exchange for Harris? If the team wants to remain competitive, grabbing a guy like Harris could help stabilize the hole left by Hannafin and or Chris Tanev. Harris is signed through 24-25 at an AAV of $1.4 million before becoming an RFA. And so, with this idea in mind, when you just bring up that individual trade conversation in isolation, okay, could the Flames trade away that 2024 second from Dallas to Montreal for Harris? Honestly, that's kind of a move that I like a lot. Now, I get it, you could say the value of a second round pick from Dallas may not be all too high, because the Stars, I don't know if you noticed, but they're a pretty good team this year. And they could very well finish in a position that makes their first round draft pick somewhere in the 23, 24, 25-ish overall range. Which means that if you're talking about their second round pick, it could potentially be in the 50-plus overall position. Which, when you think about it like that, it doesn't sound all too great, but then you acknowledge, okay, if the Canadians trade away Jordan Harris for a second round pick, that would pretty much be moving their draft pick forward a few spots, because Harris was drafted in the third round, 71st overall, in 2018. 
what do you think about this? Like, you have a third-round guy from six years ago, and you develop him, you play him in college, he does his thing, eventually he's all right in your squad, and then you trade him away for a second-round pick in 2024? That's not the worst piece of business that you could go out there and do. And especially since the Montreal Canadiens have already been in this position to think about moving Harris away, they're already talking about this, that fact in itself already leverages the opportunity for other teams. The Flames could very well straight up say, hey, like, you want to trade Harris away, so just give him to us. But because we know you want to get rid of him, we're not going to give you your prime asking price. We're just going to give you whatever else it is that we feel is okay, because we have the leverage here. Turning a third round pick into a second is not a bad idea, just saying. But, of course, for the Calgary Flames themselves, this would be a pretty good move for them, bolstering up that blue line, just hoping that some of these guys that they've got that are younger are able to click and potentially outgrow their ceilings that they have right now. Because Jordan Harris, I mean, as we had said, I think Max, best case scenario, he becomes like a top four defenseman, maybe 15, 17 minutes a night, who plays both ends. Like, not really the most important guy, but still a player that you need on your team to fill in the gaps and make everything flow. Prospects Artyom Grushnikov and Hunter Brustevich are just that, prospects. But Jordan Harris right now is an NHL player, or at least you could debatably say he is, I don't know. Depends on who you ask, I guess. But all in all, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're a Montreal Canadiens fan, what are your thoughts on the idea of sending Jordan Harris over to Calgary? It wouldn't be the first time that a Canadiens depth-ish defenseman would go over to Alberta and have success. The one that comes to my mind right away is Brett Kulak in Edmonton. That guy's been doing pretty well as of late, so good on him for getting everything to go there. But could Jordan Harris be next? If you're a Canadiens fan, do you agree with my assessment that Harris at his prime could probably be, let's say, a top four guy? Maybe he maxes out at like 20 points in a season. I don't really see too much of a high ceiling there out of Harris. But if he does become like a serviceable 60, 70 game per season NHL defenseman, I wouldn't be surprised about that either. Like he's just kind of in that realm of okay. Certainly fine, but not like super extravagant, you know? And for the Calgary Flames, if you want to go out there and get somebody who is fine, not really super extravagant, do you think the hope is for him to become better? Or would you rather just trade away that draft pick and get a serviceable enough defenseman who happens to be young? Therefore, potentially extending the timeline that he's going to be capable of playing with your team. There are a lot of conversations here, a lot of nuance that you could discuss when it comes to a Jordan Harris trade, but also I wanted to ask Canadians fans if it is Harris over to Montreal, or not to Montreal, excuse me, if it is Harris over to Calgary, then what is it that you want? Do you think just a second round pick, the Dallas second round pick, which would probably be in the 50th overall spot plus, is okay? Or do you want another prospect? Or do you want another pick? The article goes out there and says that it's probably not in the Flames' best interest to go out there and start selling away younger future assets, but because they just got that Dallas Stars second round pick, it makes it a little bit easier to send it away because you can think about it like, okay, you traded away Chris Tanev for Artyom Grushnikov and Jordan Harris, and that's a pretty good package when you think about it like that. That could be a very legit NHL defense pairing by the time next season rolls around. So, Good value for Chris Tanev? Yay or nay? Canadians fans, Flames fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this new update that the Sea of Red is interested in acquiring yet another defender. I hope you enjoyed this British Irish Rose 99. And bye.